Understanding the Nuclear Test Ban, a Comprehensive Guide. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to delve into a very important and relevant topic, the nuclear test ban. This concept is not just significant in the world of international relations and peacekeeping, but also in understanding how language is used in political and global contexts. Let's break it down together and make it easy to understand. The phrase nuclear test ban refers to an agreement or a treaty that prohibits nuclear tests. These tests are usually conducted to experiment with or demonstrate the effectiveness of nuclear weapons. A ban means to officially or legally prohibit something. So, a nuclear test ban is an agreement that legally forbids countries from conducting any nuclear weapon tests. Understanding the history behind the nuclear test ban is crucial. This concept emerged prominently during the Cold War, a period of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. The fear of nuclear warfare led to the creation of various treaties aimed at controlling and reducing the number of nuclear tests, ultimately leading to the nuclear test ban. There are different types of nuclear test bans. 1. Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT. This is a global ban on all nuclear explosions, for both civilian and military purposes. 2. Partial Test Ban Treaty PTBT. This treaty bans nuclear tests in the atmosphere, underwater, and in space, but not underground. Understanding these distinctions is important to grasp the full scope of what a nuclear test ban entails. The nuclear test ban is crucial for several reasons. Preventing environmental damage. Nuclear tests have devastating effects on the environment. Promoting global peace. It helps in reducing the threat of nuclear warfare. Health and safety protects people from the harmful effects of radiation caused by nuclear tests. I hope this video has helped you understand what a nuclear test ban is and why it's such an important part of global politics and environmental protection. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about understanding the context and significance behind them. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.